Hello guys, welcome back to Jack Solo. Thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. We are now at 51, which is amazing. Um, and this is my 50 subscriber special uh, tutorial on how to get autographs like these. Now these are on-card autographs. So I went to the stadium and uh, asked the players to sign them and they did. Um, disclaimer though, this is not guaranteed to work. And also, if an official uh, employee of the ballpark tells you to move from that area, um, then you need to move from that area. So, um, yeah. So, I got, starting off with some I've had success with, is this Wander Franco Bowman first. Got him to autograph that at a Red Sox Rays game. The Brandon Woodruff, he autographed, did, he autographed this uh, Panini Select card. And then we have Kevin Newman, who autographed his normal tops card right here. <clears throat> so there is an advantage to these, which is um, that they're a lot cheaper to get if you can... Uh, well, it depends on the card and the player, but they can be cheaper to get. Now, uh, these players, or these cards, what you want to have is I would recommend... Um, a binder like this and um, I don't know if you can see it but it's these small blue binders and when you open them up you, they hold cards inside like that and you can have all the cards in here um, sort them or order them just take the card out and ask the player to sign them now um, I'll have a link down for these down below uh, for easy access to cards but what you're going to want to do is when you enter the ballpark you are going to um want to go down to so whoever you're targeting um now if you want the home or the away um it's going to depend on you but you're going to go down uh depends on the ballpark but i'd say normally the end of the dugout so the the not the home plate side of the dugout but the third base or first base side of the dugout and if you go over there, um, normally there's going to be an opening. Now, sometimes the netting blocks it, so you have to have your, your cards and your Sharpie um, or baseballs, and you slip them, like, under the net like that. But most of the time, um, you know, you can just uh, hand them to the player, and you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be like, here, here, sign this, because that will drive them away. You just want to be like hey, Mr. So-and-so, or hey, you know, uh, whoever it is, and say, hey, can you please sign this, and not get too aggressive with that. And then just, if they come over, hand them the card. Um, blue Sharpie works best. I have black Sharpie on these, but blue Sharpie does work best, looks nicest. And you just go down to the, you know, third base or first base side of the dugout that you want and ask the players. Um, I'd recommend memorizing, you know, who they are. But uh, you also want to get there really early when you're doing this. Uh, get there probably 15 minutes before the gates open and wait in line so you can be one of the first people in there. Also, if they have, you know, uh, a bobblehead or something, then you'll be able to get that bobblehead or uh, whatever other promotion they have. But yeah, you're just going to sit there um, and you might have to wait there for 45 minutes, but... If you just wait there, you'll have a good front row spot, and they won't always autograph everyone's thing. So if you have a good front row spot, that's, you know, really what you want. So, um, yeah, that's how you can get these. You do not need a special ticket normally to get into these places early before the game. So you can just buy the cheapest ticket uh, at that stadium for that game, and then you will be able to... Uh, hopefully get these autographs so again this is not guaranteed to work also if staff tells you to move which they inevitably um, will tell you to move at some point or another uh, just comply with them it makes it a lot easier and you know that's what you're supposed to do so yeah anyways guys thank you so much for the 50 subscribers um, please like and subscribe Jack Solo out